Hi everyone, so continue with the second lesson uh, of the 2024 Super Citizen series. So for this example it says, in the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, so we're happy it starts at 3 and we're adding on 4 every time. So it wants the 47th term. Right then, let's have a look. So n is 47. It's always good practice to write down the formula. So u47 is 3 plus 47. Oops, can't quite get it to delete it. 47 minus 1 blocks of uh, 4. Well, so u47, with my dodgy looking writing, will be 187 according to my system protocol. And then b wants the nth term. So this is going to be an algebraic expression for it, because n is n. So the un, write down the formula. Do right here. Algebra. So un is going to be 3 plus n minus 1 for lots of 4. So if I expand the brackets, I end up with 4n minus 1. Yeah. Doesn't often come up on papers, but it's worth referencing. Right then, the sum of the first 82 terms. If I knew what the 82nd term was, I could just use the bottom equation. Uh, but as I don't, I'll have to use this one. So the sum to n is n over 2. 2a plus n minus 1d, so the sum of the 82 terms is 82 over 2, 2 lots of 3, oops, wrong one there, plus 82 minus 1, 81, leave it on off, times by 4. So the sum of the first 82 terms is 135, 2a. So that's the first one, just using the formula. So all I'm doing is plugging in numbers. So it's quite nice that. Right, let's have a look at the next page then. So it's a question for you. So that's quite nice. So can you have a go at this one? Uh, ideally, pause the video so you're not just copying. I'll just, what I'll do is I'm, I'll actually pause the video in a second and then write it out and then continue with the same. Right then, so that's what I've done for the question for you, so just see if yours matches. I probably do this thing, so. so you never know. Right, let's look at example four then. So it says for the series, find the number of terms in the sequence. So we know that A is 10, D is 5, but I want to find N. Now I know the last term, so I can use that last term equation, which is just the same as any term, because I know it's last, I'm putting an L next to it. Um, so 500, because that's the last term, is going to be 10 plus n minus 1 lots of, it's going up by 5, isn't it? Five, five. So if I do a little bit of expanding, I've got 10, 5n minus 5. Oops. But just being quite a line drawing. So I've got a 5 on the right. If I take it over, it's 4, 9, 5. It's 5n. So I'm going to get 99. I might have that one. Yeah. 99 for n. There you go. And then for b, what's the sum of the series? So I know, I know the last one, and I know how many terms is in it. So I can use that shortened version of that one. So the sum of the first 99 terms is 99 over 2. The first term is 10, the last term is 500. 
If you use your phone now, it's just the same, isn't it? Uh, so we got 2545. So if you use your phone now, we're not going to stuff about that one. It's not bad. Right, let's keep going then. So example five. The fifth term of an arithmetic sequence is two. So I know that u5 is two. The eleventh term is minus thirteen. So I know that u11 is minus thirteen. So if I use the formula there, then I should be able to form two equations and solve them. So that's kind of my little plan for us thinking of planning it. So I can form two equations and solve them. There. Right then, so what have I got? So I've got 2 is a plus n minus 1, so that's going to be 4, lots of d. And then I've got minus 13 is a plus n minus 1 is 10, lots of d. Right, so if I just slightly rearrange it so it fits in with your calculator, which is letter, letter equals number. So if I solve this on poly, it gives me a is 12 and d is minus 5 over 2. There, there we go. Right, let's have a look at this next one. We'll try to figure it out a little bit now. So the sum of the first two terms of an arithmetic series is 18, and the sum of the first four terms is 52. Right, so let's have a look at this one now. So the sum of the first two terms is 18. So I'm going to use that formula in a minute. So sum of the first four terms is 52. So I'm going to use I'm going to use that formula. So 18 is 2 over 2, 2a plus n minus 1, so that's just d. So 2 over 2 cancels, I've got 18 is 2a plus d, check that for the answers. You see my plus all right there, sorry about that. Yeah, then 52 is 4 over 2, 2a plus n minus 1, so it's first four terms, so it's 3d there. So that's a 2 on the outside, so I'll cancel that. That'll be 26 is 2a plus 3d. There, we're all happy with that. So the 4 over 2 became a 2, and I just divided the 2 through. So now, if I put them in a form that I can use on my calculator, it's quite a good kind of reminding you about the calculator. If I put that in your calculator, it should give me. Um, a is 7 and D is 4. There, there we go. Oh, that could have been a long one for you, that really, couldn't it? Right, so look at questions, so it's example 7, and then I think we're done. So it says, evaluate the following just to find this. So I want the first three terms. So if I put 1 in, it's 4. If I put 2 in, it's going to be 7. If I put 3 in, it's going to be 10. So I know from that that A is 4 and D is 3. Now what this wants is the sum of the first 100 terms. And I'm very aware that I'm running out of time. So I'm going to stop it and carry on.